Uh, hello guys, welcome back. Today we will see what is the Azure Key Vault with the fraud. Uh, so let's go to Azure portal and search for the Key Vault and create new Key Vault. Okay, so once you go here and you can give the resource code here. Basically, you can set up your uh, subscription and resource group enter the name i uh, can give any <coughs> the i guess the key name like key world and this is for pp okay so <coughs> uh, we are using some standards here like we will give like this so basically what is key world then uh, keywords are uh, basically key management solution in the cloud environment. Okay, so you can store your any kind of uh, user ID passwords or resources we use basically like for SQL Server. If you have Windows authentication or SQL Server authentications, you want to store your user ID password or any. Uh, uh, SAS keys or uh, any other kind of uh, the encrypted data you want to store you can use the key vault basically so I have created a lot of create uh, uh, key vault sorry uh, <coughs> I will directly go to keywords a lot create here the keywords I have shown like how to create a keywords but uh, we can see a lot of keywords we are already using uh, so I can select mine. Yes, there is a one keyword is created. So under this keyword, we have a, a lot of uh, things. And the important thing is the secret one. Basically, secrets and certificate. Uh, right now, it's not allowing me to create. Yeah. So insert, inside this, you can create a, uh, uh, yes, I have a different keywords now I have enabled myself oh, still I can see okay <clears throat> okay uh, fine so I'll just explain what is the keyword thing here we can create a, a keyword secrets so just click on the uh, generate dash input plus the name and you have to give your secret value like password you can give the name and you can give the password inside that so certificates are basically um, it is uh, a keyword enables uh, Microsoft application users to store the certifications. So if this certification is there, it will be having a valid end date and hard date for applications people who subscribe. If you take example any software, if they subscribe, you can give a certificate to them. So it will be available for that period. After that, it will expire. Again, they have to register. Uh, something like that okay so this is uh, once you create it you need to remember the what is the keyword name you have created and what is the secret you have created as the certificate you have created inside the keyword then you can use uh, anywhere within your uh, as your resources wherever it is required in case if you are creating link service in the area so you can use the user id uh, password through the keyword so this is the best way to manage your uh, keys in the cloud so you can store everything under one side and you can reuse that so uh, this is the best way to uh, reuse and you, you can protect your user user id passwords and all because uh, if you change it in one side it will be affected everywhere within the uh, uh, as your resources okay uh, then i think uh, this is much more information about the keywords i'll just cover in future videos if anything is uh, required uh, thank you for watching and keep watching my videos